hello students we have already gone through the first semester and now we are in the second semester as we have seen the critical theories and the nature and function of criticism it is now the second semester of the dvbm that is sixth semester we are going to deal with the literary criticism paper thought let us go through the papers that i am going to deal with you so in these so called papers we are going to study few literary points theories and also literature but let's go through paper wise as we have seen that the literary movements and few literary theories propounded by aristotle romantic theories and other things in the same way <coughs> we are going to study the classicism what are the features of classicism who were the classicist practitioners of literary theory so classicism romanticism is also Uh, widely known in european countries like germany french and uh, english romanticism so the typical features and theorist that we find in the romantic vein are needs to be given a special attention to for their typical features so we are going to study the romanticism and in all english romanticism in particular another literary trend or theory it's theorized it's a critical term realism and it's a kind of a movement it's a designated movement to find the realistic movement and at the same time to find the technique so we are going to study this one naturalism is especially originated in american say literature and what does it stands for what is the theory of naturalism we are going to study this term symbolism is a recent phenomenon so far as british literature is concerned but something that used have some kind of a parallel reciprocating and other theories that we see metaphorical theories similarity views that we are going to study in symbolism we have a aestheticism a aestheticism is also one of the part of this and we are going to study this one in unit second we have critical approaches this new critical approaches in the modern literature or in the modern age arised and this critical approaches needs to be studied in the Uh, way see we have necroticism we have structuralism psychoanalytic criticism and archetypal criticism so we have this different types of of criticism and this this so called modern critical theories and approaches needs to be studied so we have critical approaches then in continuation of this we have marxist criticism karl marx is socialistic theory feminist theory see the patriarchal and how women were subjugated but there is a different kinds of uh, trends that needs to be studied through women's perspective and that is going to be studied in the feminist criticism gender issues patriarchal patriarchal society at the same time subjugation of women gynocriticism all these features that we see in uh, feminist criticism at the same time we are seeing that european countries ruled the third world countries or african continent asian continent and that needs to be studied as a reaction against the colonial power 
through literature that reflected in the literature in the post colonial study in the coming modern age pollution and environmental concern arised and that needs to be given special attention in the eco criticism so what are the trends and features of eco criticism we are going to deal with that there is a practical criticism that we need to study also it stands for reading a poetic line a po poem and technical features of the poem that we need to study here so like this we have this particular topic that we are going to study under in the grammar paper in second semester we have the furtherance of and the pattern that we studied we have gone through words and phrases now we have clauses and elements of clauses a relation between subject and verb concord basic clause patterns types of clauses like finite and non finite clauses independent and dependent clauses at the same time we have kinds of subordinate clauses like noun clauses prepositional clause relative clause adverb clause and comparative clause hope we are going to deal with these topics in our uh, physical classes we have seen there is coordination and what are the coordinated clauses that is also needs to be studied sentence the further part of the clause is sentence it's the bigger than clause patterns but what types of sentences basic and derived sentences or structures at the same time we are going to study the following rules and these rules are used in fronting uh, inversion passive reconsideration of substitution of prepositional phrases for indirect object tag questions postponement of post modifier clapped sentence existential sentence extrapositions so we just need to understand what are the rules that comes up in the art of writing we have mechanics of writing means what are the types of good writing or typical type of writing or typical type of speech what is the cohesive devices and coherence what are the cohesive or grammatical cohesive devices so we have to study this cohesive devices correct use of articles prepositions adverbs and adjectives that needs to be given a special attention to common errors grammatical syntactical lexical punctuation logical these are the areas where the common mistakes may occur in drafting any kind of a writing so as a student what are the likely area of committing mistakes that we need to recognize and how we can recuperate them so we have this one writing a thesis statement is one of the area that we are going to study then we have while writing we have certain type of uh, rhetorical structures in in way we write in a classificatory way we write in comparison we write contrast we clause and effect chronological spatial ordering order of importance statement and elaboration restatement exemplification and listing this needs to be studied understanding connotations using bias free language avoiding jargon archaic and outdated languages eliminating repetition redundancy content analysis and rhetorical devices that needs to be studied so in these two papers we are going to study this type of uh, features that we see in the 19th uh, century kaisar is going to deal with you but in 20th century literature we are going to study the poetry and as well as what are the topics that we are going to cover up that we have to study here see in the earlier semester we have gone through this is what do we see here 
So feminism in modern literature, psychological novel, rise of science fiction, post-World War II novel, political satire, means all these features or terms and concepts are related to the 20th century literature. As we have seen during 1960s, the rise of feminism is reflected in most of the writings of the literature or theorist. Psychological novel, this is also one of the continuing features that we see in the postmodernism. Post World War II, after the World War II, what type of novel that we have seen the social satire, post colonial novels, or uh, writing against uh, the so called undemocratic principles, the growing concerns with the environmental issues, all these types of or the devastating effect of the Holocaust or devastating effect of Second World War and the rise of families of fascist powers, imperialism, all that features are reflected in the literature. It's a rational type of, say, uh, writing and ideological concepts that drew the literature of the postmodern world. We have political satire, allegory as rising literary trends. So we have to go through that. We have imperialism, post-colonialism in modern British, say, fiction, existentialism in modern British literature is also reflected in the literature. See, let's go through them in the in due course of time. As an example of the terms and concepts that we have studied in the background, the example is proved in the form of George Orwell's novel 1984, which appeared in 1949, immediately after the Second World War. Then we have Iris Modosh, The Black Friends. This is also one of the so-called post-colonial or against the white imperialism and uh, racial discrimination. So this, mm, these two novels will bring us the picture of what we studied in the background. Then we have short stories, and these short stories are James Joyce's Evelyn, Ra Old Dahl's Lamb to the Slaughter, Graham Greene's The Japan Invisible Japanese Gentleman, and Angela Carter's The Courtship of Mr. Lion. These are very beautiful short stories that we see. The James Joyce's Evelyn stands for the compulsion, it stands for the oath and it stands for the bright future. But what she is resort to, what Evelyn resorts to is very uh, great concept to be learned as we see it is very much relevant to the socio-political conditions of the Ireland and that James Joyce has uh, invited the attention of the populace of the Irish and uh, surrounding population, so-called British population or Irish population. Rahul Dahl, we have lamb to the slaughter, is a very investigative, fantastic and uh, very impressive short story. Graham Greene is an invisible Japanese gentleman. This is also one of the feature that we are going to study in Greeny's short story. Angela Carter as an allegorical short story, very fantastic as she was enchanted by uh, the mysterious powers that works in the nature and that works in the form of animal. She is impersonating the animal and wild animals with the human livings and she never thinks of uh, different worlds but there is a conflict between these two worlds the nature and the human world but how we can bridge the gaps between these two to make a coincidence and to make a common platform to live in collaboration with the nature so <coughs> Angela Carter's beautiful short story brings us very close to the animal world and to the sensibilities towards nature. So like this we have the syllabus that is prescribed for, you can take the screenshot while the video is being played or you can just pause and write down the video. Thank you. 
in our next lecture we are going to study some of the points that are very much relevant to the to the syllabus and that we will go one by one hope that our physical classes will start in the next week after the corona pandemic thank you i hope you will listen to this full and be prepared and take down the notes and whatever you get the material from our library or from the market sources thank you